and uh, and I'm messing with the weather patterns of the world through that 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 quote unquote research institute and um Hinegdex remember that they were behind the 9-11, which I knew while I was watching the TV broadcast as it was happening. It was an inside job. I knew that full well at the time. And I said to myself, as I was, you know, I was, what happened was is that I woke up and I went to my computer. This was, you know, West Coast, 9 o'clock in the morning. So, and I turned on my computer and looked at the first thing that came up, World Trade Center being attacked. So I immediately went to the TV, and my son was at home, my eldest son. I got him out, and I said, "We, you got to watch this. And so we sat together in complete silence. Neither one of us said a word for two hours while we were watching the broadcast. And we watched the CBS broadcast, I believe it was, because I remember it was Dan Rather, you know, yeah, yeah, very interesting. He was very interesting, his baby. And um, after two hours, I said to my son, I said, you know, I do believe I've seen enough. I smell a rat. And I got up and walked down the hall to my office. And on my way down there, I said to myself, well, we're going to get the usual cover up, you know, like the Warren Commission covered up the Kennedy assassination. And... That's what's going to happen. So I didn't even pay attention to it anymore after that. I said, what's the point? You know, it was obvious it was an inside job. And um, at least it was to me, very clear. And, you know, so they put in the Patriot Act and this and that. And uh, there's no doubt that the, the deep state wants to put the American people in America into a state of economic slavery and and uh, spiritual stasis, you know, where they do not work on their spiritual development, which is a high priority at this point, very high priority to work on our spiritual development, along with eating macrobiotically and uh, stashing gold and silver, a very very high priority, and um, they absolutely do not want that. Because the, the fact of the matter is the human individual is far greater than any state. There's no doubt about it. And um, they cannot take your freedom away unless you allow it to happen. Because your freedom is in the mind. <coughs> and they would like to think that they can control your mind. And of course they do their level best to do that through... The gray, the gray magic of journalism, you know, mass media, and so forth. But you can't let yourself be influenced by that. You know, I tell everybody, don't, don't watch the TV, you know, the news and the, listen to the radio, the talk shows, and don't read the newspaper. Forget it. Just a waste of. It's just mind pollution. You know, there's a wonderful line from one of Dylan's songs. I'm. The voices of the night are trying to be heard, and I'm sitting here listening to every mind-polluting word. That's what it is, mind pollution. Hmm. And as for the educational system, well, so we'll get into that later, because that's really one of the major tools behind this mind pollution is the educational, the public education. And... Um, we need to, I think we're at, I'm at that junction now, the, the next episode, you know, which will probably be two or three months from now, unless something really remarkable happens that's really in your face, you can't escape from it, everything is unraveling in full view, it'll probably be two or three months from now, and I'll get into that. So, we Hope you're doing very well wherever you happen to be worldwide. By the way, thank you to all those people who did to subscribe to the to the Mabuku Chronicles. I really appreciate that. And I uh, hope you spread the word to all your friends and people that you think would be able to handle what I have to say and need to 
understand that we need to put together a whole group of men and women who are alcohol free, drug free, and pharmaceutically free so their minds are not warped by all those substances that can work on this threefold social organism or the implementation of the threefold commonwealth over the course of the next few decades. So that's really what I'm looking for to see if there are any men and women out, out there in the world who are drug free, alcohol free, meat free and medicated free. Now they'll take vitamins because all those things warp the mind and make for a life which is one of complete and utter unreality and you really don't understand what's going on at all and people need to wake up to the reality of what's happening and not only that yeah there's a lot of people out there that understand what the reality of what's happening but none of them have any solutions to offer which are any worth a damn you know like saying we need to go and vote the right people in the political system is totally and utterly broken and it's finished and over and done with as is the nation state which is actually crumbling even as we speak so on that note i will leave you and hope you all have a great time over the course of the spring which is coming we you know the crocuses came up last week which is always a sign of spring and very welcome too but we need more rain and we need more snow here and it looks like we're going to get that tomorrow so on that note and remember what i have to say about water conservation practice it very important and of course the main way you practice it is you switch from eating whole meat and sugar to whole grains and vegetables all right thank you very much have a good day